And here's the main workout for the week, the max reps workout. This is me with my second to last uh, warm up set. Um, checking so everything is, uh, looks centered and good. This is, I also trained with Tommy Paws, he's the big boy from Sweden. Uh, he recently competed, uh, we, we did the last competition actually together, he did 245 kilos, which a PR Tom, oh, I didn't have, this is, this is Jürgen, that lies uh, too much to the left. As usual, uh, we try to keep him more to the right, but, but he tends to always, I think no one checked him that set. This is my last warm up set with 140 kilos. I'm doing eight reps with this, and I tend to be uh, too much to the right, so I try to actually drive more to the left here. That's why I like overdid it. This is our first max out reps. This is Tommy, he's one of the most explosive lifters I've ever seen, actually. He's 42 years old now, he competes in the 120 class, but sometimes weighs. <laughs> over <laughs> i think i'm allergic to tommy yeah so i think it's like you know, uh, gym weight here if you if, if you will was 125 kilos or so with clothes and everything in the, in the food in the stomach uh, when he trains he has, he has a hard time contracting so i'm coaching them here along the way in the set and trying to give him cues to what he should do he has a hard time keeping his scapulas in position and also keeping in a constant leg drive which makes him wobble around if you recheck the, the, that set you will see that so he can go like all out and then he's lost and here we have um Jürgen is 50 years old. He actually came to me for uh, two and a half years ago with uh, so much shoulder pain he couldn't bench and now he's stronger than ever and he has actually won two uh, 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 masters, nationals, uh, master nationals. He hit a huge PR with 20 reps at 120 kilos. Um, I will get back to some, I will get back to both uh, Tommy and Jürgen. And this is my set at 140 kilos, and last week I did 25, what, when I was really satisfied with 25 reps. However, I was a bit technical off, and I did three sets, and I wasn't really satisfied, satisfied with any of them, so I went back to the same weight, and I didn't actually thought I would get more than 25. I figured I would get 24 or 25 reps, um, and I want to get away with like 24, if so, reps, but better technical uh, than reps. And this week I was more dialed in uh, technical wise. I felt better. I had, as I said last week, some kind of stomach flu or so. And I think that had a toll on me. But technical wise, I was much more. Uh, uh, in position i and i managed to lock that one as well and i did um uh, 27 reps i did couldn't like ask for for more as i said i would have been satisfied with uh, 24 reps that was uh, uh better performed than last week take um e e form and, and so forth here uh, i give tommy some cues for him to like uh, get into a position, lie center on the bench, and here you can see him going real hard. But soon, if you check real, um, uh, if you check real, uh, real, if you really check, you can see he will start wobble around. Now he has lost his uh, shoulder blades. He didn't. He he isn't that tight. He he's. Uh, we can't see it from this angle, but he he. Had, don't have a constant leg drive so that also keeps him to wobble around you can see the same thing with his i will put on his his competition on, on youtube so you can see his max lift you will see the same kind of wobbleness going on there when he presses the weights that he can keep his shoulder blades intact so that's something that's when you do one rep it's okay because if you get out of position it doesn't do anything because you only had that one rep so in competition it's easier for him but when he does reps it's, it's real hard for him because um, if, if you have gotten out to position even if you try to uh, 
get back into position throughout the set you will never get fully back there so, so that's a that's why i managed to do to be a better rep uh, better at reps because i can stay in position always and the same goes when i'm pressing like 100 percent of my full max in competition that's where you will see me get out of position if you let me have 97 98 percent of my max you will see me be in position fully but in thomas case he did 225 he opened with 225 when he did 245 and if you go and check that i will put it out on youtube as well uh, you you will see he get out of position somewhat so so that's the thing if you do these high rep things you should always try to chase um, to get quality reps consistent rep, reps to stay as much as you can in possession and that's why tommy only trains with 120 kilos because he knows that if he i think he did 32 or so in the first set if he gets out on position i think in 25 it would be real hard for him to get back in there so if he had 140 160 or 180 it's harder for him the, the higher the weight the harder to stay in position uh, so, so he wants to give himself the best circumstances to stay in position and that's also something so most of you that watch this know that i don't train so heavy leading up to competitions because i want any weight that's heavy enough for me to keep a good technique but so 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 and and the easier the way the easier to to keep a good technique so tommy actually the heaviest he lifted is when he hit the pr he hit a pr uh, with 245 kilos that was a pr for him the heaviest he went in training the heaviest was 180 kilos so he he lifted 65 kilos more in competition than he ever touched it in training leading up for the competition and he still hit the pr so that's also something how much you can gain out of this uh, way of training to just chase that technical uh, um, chase the technical issues you have and push them and here here he, he helped me to put my shoulder blades in position because now i'm tired and what's happened when i'm tired and this goes for most of you if you if you can see my technique uh, and what goes for me when i'm tired it's not my pressing strength that lacks and that's why we get out of position when it's heavy because we can't stay in that position it's not the pressing strength that lacks we can't we're not strong enough to stay tight in the in in the shoulder blade area so so that's what goes and you will see the same with with jurgen and tommy and everything the shoulder blades tend to fall out so that's the hardest thing for me and that's why we racked there maybe i could have done a rep more but i would have done an ugly rep if i went for it we will see i think some of the set jurgen here will do some real ugly shit when he tries to uh, reset under the set and that's it's okay to try to reset but don't go uh, for the retard with it um, and what i was going to say about jürgen he asked me for for uh sue so it's i think we're closing in on a year his training went bad we didn't train so much together uh, and he said we need to change my uh, program up because i don't get any results anymore i said of course you don't because your technique is way up and lift like shit and i said i will help you with your program if the program doesn't work i will help you but you need to give me the best of your technique of your form technique you, you need to give me good technical reps and he said okay i will work with that and we didn't change change anything in the program he's done the same program more or less than he started with two and a half years ago and he's just kept getting up and every time he stagnates uh, um, we uh, look over the technique fix the technique and it keep going just to put in perspective he did now uh, at the, his best was 20 reps with 120 kilos his pr before this competition with 14 reps with 125 kilos so i think he has a lot to give now in the close future and as i said he's the strongest it ever been he's 50 now and his shoulders feel much better than he did earlier uh, so this is his last set and i think if this would have been 
uh, his first it would still have been a PR uh, at 120 kilos so after five rep five sets with all he can he still managed to put up something that would have been a PR if he wouldn't have done the first sets uh, my, this is my last set uh, I think at the 27 23 21 19 and also this one 19 uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this and as you saw there it was a hard this last rep was hard for me but I what didn't let my shoulder blades go I, I tried to keep them tucked in and push with the arms as much as I could um, and this is the secret exercise behind uh, Tommy's huge biceps and triceps his arms are huge I think yes without the pump 53 centimeters with the pump over 55 